Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are back on Hermit Skies today. Isn't that great? Uh, I'm really enjoying Hermit Skies. I don't play as much as I as I would like to because of the way my schedule is. But uh, I really enjoy Hermit Skies because it doesn't lag out like Fullcraft did. Uh, so it's kind of nice, and I'm going to keep working on this base for quite a while. So uh, I want to say thank you for joining me today. We're going to have some fun, I hope. So uh, give you a little update about what's been going on mm -hmm. in some of those last streams and things. We built this... Uh, system with Kent's help. This is so that we have the ME system and I can access it right here. And then in the stream we put in this ender chest which is receiving items and bringing them into here. And we set up two ender chests here. One is for the farm. So any the time the farm gets done it sends over and it goes into this chest and gets pulled out. And we did the same thing over there. I don't know if you can see it way over there where we put all the uh, materials that get smelted in. We're going to work on that section uh, in a little bit. So, yeah, it's been moving along. We're also going to be doing some other things, I hope, after we do what I'm going to do with the smelting section. So, <laughs> this will be kind of fun. So, uh, if you're liking this series, please click that like button. Let me know. Um, as you've heard, that YouTube has done some changes to the way they're doing monetizations. Uh, monetizations, if you don't know, is where people like me who are YouTubers actually make money from doing videos. And um, that's how I have my budget, so I can pay for the services that I use to host servers, um, to pay for the tools that I use to render uh, videos and edit videos and that sort of thing. And YouTube just changed it, so now I'm not making any money at all until I get to 1,000 subscribers. Mm. So uh, if you could, try to let people know about Tinker77 in this channel. See if you can ask them to, to uh, take a look at it and subscribe. And uh, that'd be fantastic, and hopefully we can get over to 1,000 uh, subscribers pretty quick so we can get back into uh, doing what we want to do because I'm hoping to eventually have some uh, servers for the, my people, my patrons, and other things like that so people can join in and, and play with me um, during the day, okay? So let's get ready to get started here and we're going to work on doing the uh, alloy smelters. I'm over at the where we do the uh, various minerals here. This is where we do the uh, compacting drawers to make various ores. Now what I have set up currently is if any of the iron gets in, it's actually being pumped into this alloy smelter, which makes iron into it and it takes it over here. Now I know that I could put this into the smeltery over there. Where is it? Over there. And it would double the ore, but I really don't have a need for it anymore. I can make as much as I need. I mean, you got hundreds of these ores. But what I really would like to do is to have this set up so that all of these are here and they kind of go into their own dedicated smeltery which then takes them into this ender chest, okay? So if you look here, all right now I've got, it looks like we've got almost a dozen, okay? So we're going to make a system where we have, I'm going to do six on the bottom, and then six across of the compacting drawers, six more compacting drawers, and six more of those on top, the smelters, and going into this uh, ender chest, excuse me. So that's what I plan on trying to do. I could make this one big long thing of a dozen, but I don't want to do that. I think that would look kind of ugly. So we're going to do that this other way. So we're going to have to take this apart here in a little bit, and that's going to be kind of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get rid of this right now. Let's start, start this up. I don't need this. I can hold on to this. There we go. We have it. We're going to get rid of this. We'll get rid of the alloy smelter. There we go. Now, when I hit these, it's going to be jumping a lot of stuff unless I take it out first, okay? So we're just going to grab stacks of minerals here, just like that. We're just going to load up our inventory. We're going to take that over to the storage system temporarily so we don't have it on us. Or maybe I'll just put in a chest over here. Now see where we go. Um, have a chest there. Yeah, let me put some of this in here. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Okay, let me uh, find a good place to put this. I might just put it into a, another. Actually, what I can do here is we're going to break this connection. There. Now this no longer pull pulled out, and we can put all this ore in here, and it'll eventually pull it back out later on. That's a better idea. Okay. I like that idea. Okay. So we're going to get this. We're going to get more of this stuff. Do we have any more? Yeah, we do. Here we go. Let's see. Get all these emptied out. Stacks. Okay. Looks good. We're going to put it all in here. There we go. Okay. So the next step, we're going to take this down and we're going to start to build out what the system should look like. And we're going to make up some more alloy smelters. So let's go do that. So we're over here. As you can see here, I have two already. That's the two that we already have. We need 10 more of these alloy smelters, okay? Now, this is going to take a lot of different materials in here. 
We have plenty of iron in here. We've got over a thousand of those. So let's make up, we need 10 cauldrons. So let's see, can I do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, made 11. There we go. Okay, so we got that part. We're gonna need basically 30 furnaces. Well, okay, let's make 30 furnaces. Let's see, it's not that bad if you have enough of the resources. Okay, no. there we go. And we're going, we got that, we got that, we got the iron. We're gonna need to make, this is the tricky part, 10 of these. And I know we don't have any basic capacitors. Okay, so let's see how many we can make. Not a lot. Look how much redstone we have. Not a lot of redstone. I think we might have redstone over here. Let's go check. If not, we'll just do up some dust and throw it in our sieving machine. Yeah, we don't have any. So let me uh, let me go do that. Let me go get the um, some dust out of here. We'll get some uh, the sand, make dust. And we're going to get some uh, redstone out of it, and we'll put it in here. Now, one thing i got to watch out for is that this is getting kind of tight. Um, so I could probably... Let's see here. Let's do this first. Let's put some of this flint in here, and then we'll resort this. Where's the sorter? There we go. That gives us enough space for a while. Let me go put this away, and there I'm going to get some dust, and we're going to get some more redstone. And we're back. We have a bunch of redstone now. I did uh, basically eight stacks of dust, and I got that much redstone. So now we're going back to taking this uh, alloy smelters. We only have two so far. We're working on actually making the machine chassis. We've done two of these. We need eight more. So let's see here. And okay, because so redstone wasn't in there, it does that. That's a pain. Okay, we got three in there. So now we need seven more. Okay, there we go. That's good. Now, for this other piece now, we need to make a bunch of iron bars. And let's see. Let's get a bunch. Let's get... Uh, there's a stack. Let's get two stacks here, just so we have it. Okay, so now we need to get eight of these. Right here. Two, three, four, five, six. No, we need ten, right? There we go. Ten That's what we wanted. And now we can make all the alloy smelters. There we go. We have ten, plus the two is twelve, and I said I needed a dozen. That's a dozen. So we're good to go. So now we're going to go over here, and we're going to start to take out some of these systems. Now, I'm going to have to go get a key eventually, and we're going to try to set this up, but I want to just get this kind of the way we want it first. Here, let's see here. And you can see we're stacking up, and anything that's left over is coming into our inventory. That's fine. Oops. I hit the diamond chest. Ha! 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 That's not a, a good thing, is it? A lot of stuff go down there. Um, did we lose our diamond chest? Anybody see it anywhere? <laughs> I'm going to have to put that over here for now. Let's see if I can throw this stuff out until we find it. Uh, come on, stick it over here. Here we go. This is bad, people. Oh my gosh. I need those. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to do this another way. We're going to get some more uh, some chests here. I'm going to have to just go and get something. And we'll just put them in chests for now. And then I'll see if I have it. Oh my gosh, I, I screwed that up, didn't I? Okay, I don't need cobblestone. I do have some chests here. We'll put it in this torch. There we go. Got to be careful with this pick. I really don't like it. For sometimes it just causes some issues. Okay, we're going to put it right over here. There we go. We're going right here. Wow, did I make a mistake? Come on, put another one there. Okay. And. Now, I know I'll be I have to do more stuff, but we'll have to get another chest here. But that's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm hoping I'll find my diamond chest. <laughs> Hope it didn't go over the edge, because that has the potential of throwing things over the edge, right? So, hopefully, get all this stuff here. There it is. Okay, we got that. That's good. So I'm going to put that down over here, and we'll fill that up in a second here. Okay, this is already full. Wow, that was uh, close. Let me get this all moved over, and then I'm going to start to set up our system over here. Right, I've cleaned it up a little bit, put the chest back there. I put some stuff back in that was in there. I still have this one that's filled up, as you can see, and we'll eventually move that over. So now what I want to do is I want to start getting this thing set up, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this down here. I'm going to do the alloy smelters first. Okay, let's get the other one done. These are these that have already have some power. 
And I want to have six, okay? Three, four, five, six. Now those are the alloy smelters, okay? And then out here somewhere, we're going to have an output. I'm not sure where I want the output to be yet. We'll figure that out. I might even just put it right here and we'll run it back into it. But anyway, okay. So we have that there. Now these need power, of course, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to run a power line down and across the back here. So let's run the power into here. Okay. Now if you notice, I'm offset by one up here. So I'm going to pull this out. Okay. And we're going to run this across. And there we have it. We have our power. Let's see. Hooked up. And then all of these should be getting power. Okay. Let's make sure. And then they are the second power from our system. All the generators are online. That's great. Now on top of this, we want to have our compacting drawers. Okay. So here's where we go. There we go. And then we're going to do another row of these. Oops. And we'll get the last one on here. Like that. And then on top of that, I want to have the other alloy smelter. So we're going to have two banks. Oops. There we go. Here we go. I have one extra torches here. I'm going to put these on top just to, you know, make sure nothing spawns up here. Okay. Now we're going to have to run power up to that. So let's do that really quick too. This shouldn't be that hard. Um, let's go with, let's go straight up. Oops, there we go. So all the alloy smelters are hooked up and with power. Now we, all we have to do is to plumb the items that we're going to have to go through this whole entire system. We're going to have to have come out of the blue chest, the diamond chest, and have to go into the compacting drawers and then into the, each of these things, okay? So let me get ready to do that next. I know I said I was going to set up the item conduits. I want to get these set up first, though, okay? Because we've got a lot of material here. So let's see here. Let's get various ores. Let's see, Alorium. Let me move this over here. Uh, let's see, Osmium and Lead. Let's do that, okay? So what you do is I want to have these pieces go into the, each of these right here. Let me actually I should put those down there. <laughs> like that. There we go. So now we're going to take one of these and we're going to put it in here. This one will be right there. And you can see it's set up. And what we can do then is we can use the drawer key here to lock it. It will only take that particular item. Okay. We're setting this up so that when we start to import stuff, only the things that it can work with will go that direction. So this is pretty quick here. And we had 11, didn't we, before? I think we did. We'll figure this out. Okay. So there. All those are hooked up and they're ready to go. Now the interesting thing is we can take this here. Okay, and these are going to be on the green line are going to be input. Okay, and all these are going to say insert on green. So let me set all those up. Let's be really quick. Okay, there we go. So all those are on insert. Now we're going to tie that into here which is our where we have the output and they should suck those types of things in. So let's see here, we gotta go down here. Okay, we don't want anything going on with this one right now on the green channel. So I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna say for right now, I'm gonna say, uh, well it's never active, doesn't matter, it's pulling out, doesn't matter here. I'm gonna put one in the back here, oops, there we go. Extracting, always active. And now it should be pulling those materials in. I can't really see here. I really need to get the quantity key, but it should be pulling them out of here. And you can see it is. It's pulling out what we want, okay? So those ores are going to be cleaned up. I'm going to go see if I can get the quantity key. I may not have it anymore. I think I gave it to uh, Pause Player 10. But basically, once we can get those systems all out of here, then I'll do these rows here, and then we'll start to set up the, uh, the alloy smelter. So let me get that part set up too so this is all plumbed up, and then we'll move on. Everything is set up. All those are fully functional. You can see here I've got them all done. That's really great. Now, if you look here, I'm using the green channel as input. And what I did is I put the enter chest over here, and I want to use this as the complete output. So we're going to go to the next channel on the item conduits here, and we're going to hook up all of these here, all of the uh, alloy smelters. So if you put it here, you can see it's going into here. That's not good. We don't want that. We're going to change this right here to be extract. We're going to make it the next channel, which will be brown. So brown is my line going out, okay? And we're going to say it's always active, okay? We're going to do that for each of these. 
make it brown all the way down the line to here, which is, let's see if I can go up here, fly a little bit. And this is brown only. Insert on brown, okay? And see, it's taking stuff into it. Oh, I got brown over here. It's not gonna be brown. We're gonna change the color to blue. Okay, I thought brown would work. I didn't know it would connect up there. So we're gonna change that to extracting on the blue channel. Do that again here. Extracting, blue channel, always active. And we're gonna do this for each of these, okay? Up at the top and the bottom. Let me get that done. Here we go, the last step. And we're gonna have all of these here. We're gonna take these outputs, the actual big uh, ore pieces, and put them into here. So let's just grab this one here. We're going to have one of these, just so I have one. Okay, we're going to use this for the filtering process, okay? So now, what do we want to have here on the back here? This right now is at the insert. And I'm going to basically, for a second, I'm going to set up the white list here. Okay, so this uh, this is configured correctly, okay? This one right here is configured. Now, we're going to set this to in and out, okay? So now it's going out. In is green. Extract, we don't want it to be really to be green as much as we want a different color. Okay, so we're going to switch it to, not blue, purple is what we're going to use, okay? And it's going to say purple output lead or chunk always active, okay? Now on this side, where's it going to? It doesn't have any place to go yet. So we're going to set this to in and out. And this is going to be in and out to purple, okay? And the extract is on blue. So now you can see it's pulling in all those resources there. Uh, no, it's not. It's bringing in sand, and I don't know why. Oh, let me figure this out. Okay, see, this is something that can happen. I got something messed up here. Uh, it's probably just going to dump all this out. Let me take this out here. There we go. It is set up correctly. It was just pulling in because of the fact that it's on that other network over here, which I got to find a way to really disconnect it, I think, because I really don't need to have... Yeah, let's see here. See, I got too much here. This side here is going connecting right here. I wonder if I could use the wrench to disable this right here. Yeah, there we go. That won't happen again. See, a little bit of time and things will work out. So now we got this whole thing set up. It should work out pretty well. So it's pulling in all those ore chunks here. Oops, sorry, missed that up too. Okay, there we go. So now you can see right here, it's got them. It's pulling them out and it's going down as three there. And that three, if you look into here, You'll see it pop up there and see that it went away. And also this is feeding in from the farm. You see three appear and disappears, which means it's now going over into our storage system automatically. So now I just want to get all of these set up and we'll get this up and running and it'll be awesome. So let me go do that right now. Alrighty, you can see the system is working here. I added some gravel. It's working great. It's piling up, but it'll work. Then we've also got some sand coming in a little bit here. I got to clean this part up. Let's go clean this up real quick here. It throws in this little line. <laughs> I should just put a whole bunch of hoppers here or something to pick that up. Anyway, so we're into the sand here. But what goes on is you can see it goes into the system over here. It comes over to the here, and you can watch all of a sudden it'll get a burst of items here. Usually it just takes a couple seconds, and you'll see it. It'll just fill up. I'm gonna put my have here. There it goes in. And it just pulls out right away. Here, I'll put some of this in there too. Okay, and then it goes into the system over here. You can see it's see how it's going in. It's 182. It goes down here. This automatically cooks it all. All of them are set up, and then it takes it over here, and it goes into the ender chest, which you can see ores are just being pumped in really quick. Now this last spot I used coal because coal makes the coal blocks, and coal blocks when you smelt those will make carbon. So we have that ready to go. That's really good. But now I've noticed that there's an overflow here of things that we uh, need to figure out. We have flint we have diamonds and things like this so i can actually compress diamonds emeralds flint and lapis and that'll really clean up this this box a lot okay maybe i won't even do these i might not do that at all lapis is fine but i think the flint for sure we should really compress it so let me do that right now okay here's some flint there's a whole other set of stuff look at that it comes in just goes right back out it's awesome okay we're gonna hook this up right here so i'm gonna put it right next to this didn't mean to do it that way though. Can't I just do it like this? Really? Okay, this is going to be a pain. We'll put one down here and then we'll put it on top and then take out the bottom. Placement is everything in Minecraft. There we go. Okay, now this right here, I don't want that. <laughs> wow, I'm just really screwing up right now. Okay, now I'm going to put in a flint. And you can see it makes the compressed flint block. 
We're going to use the keys here. We're going to lock it. Right there. Okay. Locked up, ready to go. Now, I want to have this go into here and then extract out what we want. Okay, so let's first do the insert part, portion of this. We'll take one of these. If you remember, we have insert is green. So all we have to do right now is put on insert and green. And it's going to say, oh, I can do this stuff. And you can see all of a sudden it's bringing in the blocks and stuff like that. Now we have to pull this out, okay? And the reason, way we got to do that is we have to go get another item filter or not. I think we can just do it the regular way. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we just go to in and out, extracting on, I believe it's purple channel. Let's go see if it's putting out blocks or flint. Oh, wrong one. Not seeing anything. You see anything in there that looks like flint or whatever? So why is it not? Let's see here. Is it still going up? It's still going up. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's always active. Purple. We didn't tell it what to extract. Okay, so we're going to go make an item filter. Let me go do that and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have an item filter here. So we're going to go on to here. We're going to go to the extract side. We're going to say extract that. Okay. How's it going down now? Why is it not going down? Purple. Oh, it's not going out to here. Blue. That's what I want. Blue. I got it on the wrong channel. Ha! Ah. Let's extract to blue. Here we go. Blue. There are numbers going down. And so it should be going over to here. And there we see all of our flint being compressed. So now we're left with this whole mess in here. And what we could probably do is, when we see these types of items, just automatically take it from the chest over to here. So I'm going to set that up in just a minute by going in another item filter so we can filter these things out. All right, I am underneath here. I'm going to put this line coming out and underneath here so it kind of looks okay. So right now this is inserting on brown. Okay, well, we're going to make this in and out. So we're going to make it in and out. And we're going to say extract. Let's make another color. We've used blue and purple. Let's go cyan. Okay, and we're going to extract these items. Okay, isn't that worked out great? Okay, and now we're going to put a block here, which hooks up to there. And we're going to say on insert on cyan. Okay, so that should be, well, did I put always active? No, I did not. Here we go, always active. And the items are going out. I'm going to put this back in there. So now this should, chest should be mostly empty uh, when we use it. Okay, let's go, just go on upstairs. Let's go take a look at that. It's getting dark again. Got to sleep here. Okay, so here we go. Chest is being emptied out. That's good. It's all going into here, which is fine. I think we're good. Well, there we go. I put in a bunch of sand. The whole system is working perfectly fine. A lot better now that I have these alloy smelters working. We also have the compacting drawers, compacting everything up. And we have everything getting filtered over into the solar system over there through the ender chest. It works out great. You can see this is pulling items through. It goes in here really quick. You see it all line up and it pulls it in. See, there it is. And zoop, it's all gone. Look at that. Really fast. Everything's being used up. You can see that the smelters are kicking on. This is great. Okay, let's take a screenshot right about there. That's a great screenshot right there. Okay, so um, yeah, this is about all I have time for today. Uh, I'm going to try to do another uh, recording right away. So kind of back-to-back-ish. Um, I probably won't get it out for a while, but at least I'll get it uh, on here so that we can use it, and that'll be great. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, please put it in the comment section. And if you'd like to subscribe to this channel and be notified of videos that I produce, please do so. so that's uh, really important. Very important. At more than so than ever because of the new policies that YouTube has done. So, again, I am Tinker77. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day and bye-bye. Uh,